It's finally here. My Sideshow Mythos Obi-Wan. I ordered this a couple weeks ago. It came in. I've been waiting to unbox it until I can get a good time to film it to show everybody. So we're going to go ahead and open it up now. Okay. So here it is. My first sideshow hot toys. Well, this isn't hot toys, this is sideshow uh, six scale Obi Wan Kenobi Mythos action figure. The box is pretty awesome. It's got pretty great art on it. I like the design they went with for his face. Uh, it looks like a good combination of Ewan McGregor and Alec Guinness. Uh, this is supposed to be an interpretation of Obi-Wan in between Revenge of the Sith and uh, Star Wars. So when he was living on Tatooine, looking after Luke and taking care of him. I'm excited, so let's open it up. have some more box art that's a really great shot it's got him with his backpack and his clone armor on over here it's got another image of him it's his backpack with his armor and everything on the side let's go ahead and see what's inside Packed in here kind of tight, it's hard to get out. But it's got one box that actually has the figure in it, and another box with all the accessories. Let's take that over here, out of the way. Okay, so we're going to open up the accessories box first and see what all we have in here. Okay, so when you open it up, it comes with a stand. It's just a plain black stand. It's got this part here, which will go under him, which will help him stand up. Uh, I'm not really impressed with the stand. It's kind of it's kind of plain. It's just a black stand. Uh, I'm gonna try and find like a sand one that comes with like the sand troopers and other uh, sideshow pieces. They have some that have sand bases and rock bases. And those are pretty cool. I think we'll find a different one for this one. But this will serve its purpose for now. So let's sit that right here out the way. That sits right there, and Obi-Wan will just stand right on that to stand up. Okay, also in the box, this is really cool. This is a pair of macro binoculars. Uh, you see Luke use these a lot in the original trilogy. Uh, this pair has got some soft goods. For the strap here, this is actually a small piece of leather that makes the hang strap. It's pretty cool. There's uh, lots of little detail on the binoculars. There's buttons and colors and everything in there. Can't really see it, but it's there. You can't see it. All right, it has. Put that back in the box. Right? Comes with a pair of goggles, which also has a little strap. Just a small little red pair of goggles. Comes with three different lightsabers. It has the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. 
It has Anakin's lightsaber, also known as Luke's. I'm not going to call it Rey's. It was Anakin's and Luke's long before it was hers. And then she broke it within a week. And then we have Qui-Gon's lightsaber. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, Qui-Gon was Obi-Wan's master. Got killed on Naboo by Darth Maul. Uh, Obi-Wan used this lightsaber to kill Darth Maul. We thought he killed Darth Maul. Darth Maul survived. It was a whole big thing in the Clone Wars. This is pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool that he kept this, and it's cool that this comes with it. It also has an attachment here for Obi-Wan's lightsaber if you want to have it ignited. The top pops off right there. And then you can have... If I can get it in there... Have a lit Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. It also comes with several hands right here with another set of hands. So that's everything in the the accessories box. Let's move on to the actual to the other package here. In this box we have a blaster rifle. Uh, I believe I was reading this is a modified Tusken Raider rifle uh, that Obi-Wan has acquired while he's been on Tatooine, which is pretty cool. It is Obi-Wan doesn't usually use a blaster, but maybe in this time where he's no longer really being a Jedi, he's being a, a desert nomad, he needs one. Also comes with three more sets of hands, or three more hands in here. It's got two fists and a trigger hand. He's got his little trigger finger for using the blaster. Let me set those here. Put it back in the, in the box. Okay, so let's get to this part. This is awesome. He's really, he's really solid. Take the plastic off of him real quick. And this is Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is, I love this head sculpt. To me, it looks just like a good mix of Ewan McGregor and Alec Guinness. I mean, it's, it's what I would imagine him to look like in between Revenge of the Sith and A, and a, a New Hope. He's got a cloth goods robe uh, with hood. It's a big cloak kind of thing. Uh, everything on here is actual cloth goods. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Uh, everything. I mean, it's his robe's kind of tattered from uh, from wandering in the desert for all these years. He's got a little hood here. I mean, it's this is pretty great. If you look at him, he's got a leather belt. It's got several pouches on it. This pouch actually opens up. You could put something in there if you wanted. Right now it's just got a little piece of foam in it to help it keep its shape. That's pretty cool. That's a cool little detail in there is that it has that little pouch. His belt has several hooks for uh, lightsabers and other things. He has another little pouch right here. This tiny pouch does not open. But that's okay. He's got on his uh his canvas pants. His boots are not one solid boot. Uh, the tops of them are actually attached to the pants and they slide up and down his leg. That's cool. I mean it looks good if you don't slide them up all the way. If you just leave them where they're supposed to be it looks just like a pair of riding boots. All right, let's see what else we have in the box. I'll go ahead and stand him right here on his stand until we get everything else out. All right. Also in the box, we have a backpack. The backpack comes with, it has a bedroll, which feels like fur. Uh, it's probably meant to be a bantha hide or something. Uh, that Obi-Wan would be using as a bedroll on Tatooine. It has his Clone Wars armor strapped to the top. Now he can't wear the, 
the armor's not wearable on this figure, but it looks really cool on his backpack. He's got his utility belt here. It's got several pouches. It's got a grappling hook with some rope attached. On this side, he has a portable moisture evaporator, which is what they use to get uh, water on Tatooine because it's a big desert and it doesn't have any water. It has two gaffy sticks is what these are called. These are the big poles that the Tusken Raiders use uh, to fight with. It's kind of like a, a war club. This one's kind of sharp, actually. Kind of hurt a little bit. It's pretty cool. The backpack's got lots of little pouches. This spot right here, I believe the rifle was supposed to go in. So it would sit like this across his back. I'm going to go ahead and try and put it on him. And now we have Obi-Wan wearing his backpack as he's walking across the desert out in the Junlin Waste looking for a new place to stay, keeping an eye out for Luke to make sure he stays out of trouble. Obi-Wan's obviously had some dealings with the Tusken Raiders, else he wouldn't have a Tusken rifle and gaffy sticks. So I don't know, did Obi-Wan make friends with the Tuskens? Did Obi-Wan have to fight the Tuskens? I know in A New Hope he's learned to make crate dragon noises that scares them away so he doesn't have to fight with them. So how did he get his equipment? I don't know. Just looks really cool. We'll go ahead and add some of the other accessories to him real quick. See his hands just pop right out just like that. Very, very easy to just pop out. And then they pop right back in. Let's go ahead and give him his lightsaber. This is my favorite pose that I've seen for him online, at least what I'm trying to do. He's very poseable. He's got lots of points of articulation. I think on the package it says 36 or 35. I mean, he just looks, he looks great. I mean, you have him there using the force, holding his lightsaber, getting ready to do battle. It's, he's pretty great. This is my first Sideshow toy. I have several others pre-ordered. Uh, I have the Boba Fett Mythos uh, on pre-order, and when I saw that this one was out, and this is the other one in the Mythos line that they're re-releasing, I just had to have him. He's really cool. Uh, I mean, look at it. Look at all the details. He's got his Clone Wars armor with his, with his Republic and his Jedi Order symbol there. He's very, very solid. He's going to he's gonna be an awesome part of my collection. I can't wait to take him and get some pictures of him and uh, put those on the Instagram. Uh, watch the Instagram. Check it out at TheJLegends on Instagram. For, there'll be pictures of him coming soon. I'm going to go take lots of pictures of him soon. Guys, if you enjoy this video, like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification so you can get notifications when I post new videos. There will be lots more coming. I have more unboxing. I have some uh, from a toy hunt the other day. I found some, some cool stuff. We're going to we're gonna take some pictures and do some videos with that. Uh, follow us at DJ Legends on Instagram. You'll get lots of pictures of this new Obi-Wan. It's going to be great. Y'all have a good one.